Schools across the valley will be closed for at least three weeks. One task that the districts are trying to figure out is how to make sure students are being fed during that time. First News reporter Chandler Blackman found out what some are doing. After the governor announced schools were shut down because of the coronavirus, school administrators began working on plans to feed students. Most school districts are modeling after the summer food programs where families can come in. Uh, over 18, they pay $2 for a bag lunch. Under 18, it's free. Liberty Superintendent Joseph Nora tells me that during this time, schools would do everything they can to help. We just want to be able to provide whatever nourishment we can, you know, because we feel horribly that the, the children aren't here eating on a daily basis. Local food director of Borman Schools, Natalie Winkle, agrees that the main priority are the children. We have to make sure that the kids are fed. I mean, that's the utmost importance to all of us. We want to make sure that no matter what, during it being really tough for the kids and the parents, that they love one less thing to worry about is food. This will be at least three weeks, but could go through the end of the school year. Joseph and Natalie say they'll do whatever it takes to help support families and their children. Our principals, our administration will do everything we possibly can to come together as a family to support the education and nourishment of children. We don't know from moment to moment, hour to hour, what's going to happen next, but at least for today we know the kids are fed. Chandler Blackman, WKBN 27 First News.